Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Ivy Gadget. Welcome back to the channel today. I have another squad builder for you guys on my channel, and I apologize for the lack of content. It's because FIFA 14 is kind of coming to an end now, and there's just really not much stuff to upload. Uh, so this team is going to be a full inform Barclays Premier League team. Going to cost you around about 11 and a half million coins. So in goals, we are going to go with inform Joe Hart, the only good keeper that's in form in the Barclays Premier League. Like There is a bunch more, but Joe Hart was the highest rated and the best one there. And to the centre-back positions, guys, we are going to go with John Terry on the left side and on the right side. We're going to go with Koscielny. Two very, very good centre-backs, if I do say so myself. I really enjoy using them. And Terry is underrated just because of his pace, but he's got good defending stats and uh, he's very, very good at slight tackling and stuff like that. And... Um, the only shit that really annoys me about him is he comes up for corners and they can never get back to defence. So that's the only annoying thing about him. But let's move on with the rest of the team. In the right back position, guys, we're going to go with Inform Debushi. And uh, he's been actually quite fun to use. I've had no complaints with him. And uh, he wasn't overly expensive as well. Into the left back, guys, we are going to go with Baines. And uh, he has some very, very good overall stats, as you can see there. 80 pace, 80 dribbling. Uh, 78 shot, which is very, very surprising. 81 defense, 81 passing, 73 heading. And uh, he was a little bit expensive, but yeah, you really get what you pay for. He's really, he's really fun to use as well. CDM, guys, we're going to go with none other than Yaya Turi. And um, yeah, honestly, the best informed card I've ever used, especially with the Hunter chemistry on. He's so good. He intercepts everything. He's got a good shot. And surprisingly, he can use skills. Uh, do not be afraid to use skills with him, because he can skill. Uh, with only three-star skills, he's very, very fun to play with. Comes up for corners, scores headers, does everything that you want to do. He's a full package, so I really do like Yaya Turi's inform. And also, I was a big fan of his team this season as well. But yeah, I really like Yaya Turi's inform card. He's so beast. Beast! Into the right mid spot, guys. We are going to go with Jesus Navas is in form and uh, he was 423,000 coins he's very very fun to play with as well especially with the hunter chemistry style like Yaya Turi uh, 91 pace 88 dribbling 4 star skill rounds, and he's got an alright shot on him as well he always stays back like outside the box when a corner comes in and it comes out and he just bomb one into the top corner and yeah I really like Jesus Navas for that reason and yeah he's just so skillful and he's just so fun to get past players with and to the left mid spot guys we're going to go with by far the most expensive player in the team which is a third in form Aiden Hazard coming in at 2.2 million coins uh, but really look at them stats though them stats are absolutely insane and um, he's so much fun to play with as well he's got such a good shot on him uh, yeah and he doesn't have bad heading as well he has decent heading so don't be afraid to you know cross on the ball to him but it's normally him doing the crossing but you cut it in you can finesse it he's got a really really good finesse shot i really do like that about aiden hazard's in form and yeah he's actually not too weak as well so he's not shoved off the ball but with that pace he's straight off the mark straight down into the box and hazard is honestly superior he's so good anyway into the camp position guys we're gonna go with mesut ozil's in form and i really like ozil as well you may not like him because of his pace and whatnot, but he's such a good player, especially with the four-star skill. The only thing that lets him down is his two-star weak foot, but he's a very, very clinical player with good dribbling and good passing. Into the striker roles, guys, we are going to go with Luis Suarez as in form. His third one with a Hunter chemistry style on him there. He was quite expensive himself. 85 pace, 94 dribbling, 94 shot. And the good thing about his third in form, he has good heading on him. So you can swing on a ball, he's going to put that into the back of the net. And yeah, Suarez is such a good player. No matter what, if it's his team of the season, if it's his international man of the match card, if it's his in form, if it's his normal card, he's just he's just going to perform. He's just going to do nothing but perform. I'm a very big fan of Luis Suarez's in form card. But unfortunately, he's went to Barcelona. But the uh, good thing about next year, we can actually get a link up uh, with Messi and Suarez and Aguero. So that's that's what I'm keeping my eye out for a team next year. And uh, to finish off the team, guys, we're just going to go with the person that we are just talking about, Sergio Aguero. And uh, I, there is one disappointment about um, Sergio Aguero, his shot. It may say 90 shot, but I don't think he's finishing the best because anytime I am through on goal, and I power up the shot, 
it always seems to go straight at the keeper. He always takes it with the outside of his foot for some reason. He never, he never really curls it in to the left side or whatnot. And uh, that's what that's the only thing that annoys me about Aguero. I don't know about his long shot. I've not tried to take any, but when I have uh, taken some from out the box, it keeps going straight at the keeper. But he's such a good player nonetheless. He's got decent heading, good pace, good dribbling, good shot, and he's got all right passing as well. And he was quite expensive himself, but I really, really like the way this team looks, guys, on paper. Now, I'm not going to go into any games as uh, I cannot seem to get into games at all. Like, I go into a game and it says the opponent's left the match and all that, uh, and I can't just seem to get into a game at all. So, uh, that's EA's fault. It's not mine. I apologise for that. So, that is the team, guys. Make sure to buy it if you have the coins. Now, coins aren't expensive, it's like £7 for like 2 million coins. Honestly, they're that cheap. So go out, get yourself some coins and try and build this team and tell me what you think of it. So hopefully we can smash out 10 likes on the video. Until next time guys, my name's Gadro. I'll catch you in the next motherfucking video.